So I want to make a video and talk about the top speed run or high speed run that I did in my other video. I went out into the country, found a road where it wasn't a lot of traffic, pretty good run. It's not like a uh, forever straight run or anything, but enough room to definitely hit the top speed or close to it and shut her down. So I did put on a shirt for that video which apparently isn't enough safety equipment for testing that kind of stuff. But, did the run and my bike at about mid 140s definitely kind of runs out of the same power to pull, right? So maybe I didn't hit, maybe I hit six gear early but I ran her up there pretty good and got about 155 on the speedo one fifty one on the GPS because I wanted it to be actual speed but one fifty five one fifty one I was running out I was just starting to creep at that point I was probably at eleven seven maybe on the RPM and might have been able to squeak out a couple miles per hour more had I held it or gone a little further but definitely not much so let's say even if I got 160 on the speedo probably be about 155 156 on the GPS well posted it on the forum and properly got roasted for weak numbers and all that stuff and of course everybody else's bike does 165 like nothing 170 um, because everybody's better than everybody else but I wanted to see what most people are getting I'm 200 pounds I've got this tank bag five pounds I got the Gibby windscreen Maybe I'm not as aerodynamic as some others. I know that the overall weight doesn't matter on top speed. It just takes a while longer to get there. But it's not like this is a sport bike that you tuck and just cut through the air. Pretty windy. As you can see in my arms in that video, they flap like crazy when I come up out of the tuck. But is that my chain, drive chain, could I put a 520 conversion with the same, you know, stock 1643 sprocket and maybe the reduced drive train friction or whatever would help keep the power going in the higher RPMs and the higher gears. Is it my tune? I've got a more Mafia tune. I got a K and N intake on this with the more Mafia tune. A Del Kevick, what I heard somebody say. Eight inch cat back exhaust, no cat, D cat. Sounds awesome, runs awesome. It pulls like crazy till that top end of fifth really, it's sixth gear. She just doesn't seem to have a whole lot left in that higher RPM and six. Is it worth getting another flash? Obviously, folks are recommending a two-wheel dyno work flash. But I don't really have any problems with this flash. The bike is fast. Be cycle nut. I had an MT-09. I can see another video. I talk about that MT-09 versus this MT-10. And he, he does great tunes. That MT-09 was ultra strong. Super happy with it. Is it my exhaust? Is there a better exhaust or something that flows better? Which 
This flows pretty good. I don't. Anyway, smells like burning rubber. But now here. Anyway. Is it the tune? Is it the chain? Is it my weight? Is it the aerodynamics? Do I just have a weak sauce MT-10 that's just destined to be slow? And isn't any faster than a factory bike without anything on it? Was I uphill a little bit? Was I into a headwind? All those things. Is it worth changing anything? To eke out what is probably five to ten miles an hour, maybe? I would love to see a video with somebody with GPS that is getting 160 on a GPS. I'm sure it's possible, but just to see. So if I got a new tune, would I now have ultimate power up at the high end or not? I don't know. I know this thing is freaking fast. It pulls, pulls hard, but definitely about 145, it starts to creep. But, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your experience is. Not trying to throw anybody under the bus or throw shade. Pretty sure this is around average for these. Maybe there's some variances, but I don't see huge differences, but maybe there's something I could do to squeak out a little more out of this bad boy. And, looks like the clouds are not wanting to play. I was hoping I would catch a sunset. Anyway, I put a jacket on for this video. Because you know, if you're wearing a jacket, you're good. It doesn't matter if you have tennis shoes on, skinny jeans, jacket, gloves, and helmet. You're good to go. Anyway. What's up, dude? 